I'm Chad. Hey, Chad. Hey. And uh, we're smoking today the uh, Placencia uh, and the Oliva Cereal. So uh, we're talking first impressions here. I've got my Oliva Siri O, and my first impressions are, uh, well, someone told me it was pepper with more pepper and more pepper and a little bit more pepper on top of pepper. With a little earth. With a little bit of earth. And although I'm tasting the spice, it's not overwhelming, which is kind of nice. And uh, so far it's got a pretty smooth draw. I did have to trim it twice. I'm used to doing I apologize, the shape of the cigar is a... Torpedo. It's not a torpedo. It is a torpedo. It's a torpedo. It is a torpedo? It is, that's it's a torpedo. torpedo. It's okay. not bellicoso because it's too long. I'm used to trimming them a little bit further back than this and kind of chewing on them a little bit because I'm... Uh, Weird. A dork. You can say dork. I'm a barbarian. Orally fixated. God, you guys. <laughs> now you know how my feels. There's a wife joke in there and I'm not going to make it. <laughs> This has gotten weird. Are we All just right. going around the table? Yeah, we'll just go around Next the up. table. Uh, my first impression, yeah, pepper on pepper. <laughs> but also, they do say that there is, uh, they suggest <coughs> you might taste some cedar in there. I taste a little cedar. You know, when you walk into a, when you walk into a humidor or a, uh, you smell a, a good cedar box, uh, I definitely catch a little bit of that organic sort of earthy. Yeah, yeah. But what's pretty smooth. Imagine like uh, a cedar plank doused in pepper. <laughs> so when we were uh, hitting that B-roll earlier, I was smoking one of those. Uh, it tasted more leather than pepper. I tasted leather? leather a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Uh, I mean, mine was just nothing but pure leather, it seemed like. Of that? Yeah, oh, that okay. guy right there. What are you uh, yeah. tasting in your placentas over there? Placentias. Plus. I can pronounce it correctly. I choose not to. Oh, okay. There's a difference. <laughs> I got the, a lot of salt, or not salt, a lot of uh, uh, pepper also. Um, I taste leather off. at the end. Yeah, a little like bit of leather the at the end. The last little bite at the end is definitely leather. There's a very like earthy smoke that comes through. I don't know, mine's a little on the slow burn inside. So either it's like really tightly wrapped or it's dry. But Chad, yeah, they're not dry. Well, Chad, you're the only one that's uh, smoked both of these. Uh, Dakota had one of these guys earlier. Oh, okay. We've both so we kind of both of these. switched it out. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. For, so far, uh, I'm kind of indifferent about which one I like more for the first taste. That one... Is burning weird? A little bit, yeah. Uh, that one I had a uh, more of a, you know, all that leather, but this one is just like strictly pepper right now, so I don't like the peppers too much. They're not my favorite. Could but you this always will, pick cigars with pepper in it? For some reason, I don't research the pepper part. You know, I don't go looking for them. Apparently oh, that not. looks pretty. Yes. Grab. But, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that because that's that's valid consumer advice. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. It's some people, oh, yeah, yeah. some people go for that Sumatra peppery. That's why we pepper. taste them. Is this Sumatra yeah. pepper? Our, yeah, it's, it's not. Sure, sure maybe. I don't know. I, don't know. Well, I mean, like, it's got a really, eh, it's got a slightly uneven burn. That might be entirely from you. me. I thought that was me. Mine's even enough as I go along. Yeah, mine yeah. is too. I'm noticing that the construction on this is really tight, like a tiger. Um, a Russian and I, tiger? A Russian tiger. Siberian tiger. Siberian oh. tiger. Must build strength, fight off wolves. One of the stands. The only issue I really have had with this so far is it has a really tight draw. And even though I've trimmed it to... Have you rolled it? Yes. Even I, I, though I've trimmed I it you, to the correct length, it still have a tight draw. I think if you go a little bit further, you'll be all right. Because I was having a problem earlier to also with mine. I just snipped a little bit further. I don't, until it got good. I don't feel a tight draw on mine, but holy Oh, yeah, you cow. cut off the, most of the end there. I mean, compare the two ends. No, um, no, no. But I'm saying it takes... I'm drawing a lot to get 
Like I'm keeping this thing going. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. A lot of draw, a lot of draw, a lot of draw. I'm gonna be out of bubbles here soon. Uh -oh. What are you guys uh, combining with your? Oh, I got the wonderful Eagle Rare. Uh, and Red Bull. By I forget who. No, no Red Bull. <laughs> well, it's the same guys who make Buffalo Trace. So if the, you like that, Buffalo Trace, guys, yeah. you like Eagle Rare. Um, yeah, I've, I've got myself some Buffalo Trace in here. I'm matching with that. You've got a Coke and... Coke and Redneck Riviera. Because I uh, am too... Country? Wuss to drink a whiskey straight today. What uh, do you guys left. think of the uh, construction, Lori? Uh, it's not bad. It's a little tight at the back. Um, and it's starting to crack about halfway down. Ooh. And it's not burning very well. Which one are you smoking? The Placencia. Reserve? Reserva Original. I don't know. I think it's a, yeah, a little tight, but mine's not having any it's issues not bad. right now. It's definitely a more earth-friendly tone flavor than... I'm glad you brought up the wrapper because uh, let's talk makeup. Huh? 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 Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't wear makeup, uh, so... I don't either. Well, before oh, we go on okay. to the next thing here, Chad, what are you getting out of the build quality so far? <laughs> I mean, I'm not having any problems with it. I, I got it to where it's perfectly drawing and... Uh, yeah, yours you know, is pulling a lot better. Yeah, than it was starting to uh, round it, or uh, even out on the uh, burn there. Okay. Well, that one earlier, I was having a problem with uh, keeping the, the ash on the end. It Chad, would already fallen off twice. Really Any well cigar out. you handle automatically is cursed. It doesn't matter. There's no curse. It's just that I don't ash into a tray often. It just falls off. Like, what, what's the makeup of the cigars we're smoking today? Ooh. As we're well, going I've got through tobacco the I, I, on the inside and tobacco on the outside. That generally is how they work. Oh, yeah. okay. Mm. <laughs> Unless it's a black and mild, then it's like 30% pulp. Paper. Yeah. yeah. Pulp. A, lot of, a lot of paper mixed with In tobacco. The, the cork or the, the mouth tip thing. Yeah, the wooden tip. Of the course. Oliva. <laughs> It's pretty much an entirely Nicaraguan blend, but it's from several different valleys. Ours is too. Ours yeah. is from the same place, and it's Nicaraguan tobacco of Habano seed, or Nicaraguan grown yeah, Habano. Habano seed. Yeah, from uh, Esteli, if I remember correctly. Is it? Yes, both of them are Esteli. Well, so. ours is also in the Joppa Valley, and I, I can't remember the third one, but it's, it's, it's a blend of several different... <coughs> types of tobacco. All what from the ours? same area. Uh, roughly the same yeah. area. I mean, Nicaragua is only so big. Ours is from Nicaragua. that same place, but just different farm. Uh, yeah, it's made on the same Aceli farm, uh, <coughs> Nicaraguan, one into the other. Okay. They just <coughs> grab the best leaves and put them in this fine cigar. So you were top to bottom, inside and out, Nicaraguan. Yeah. Whereas yeah. ours... Habano seed grown in Nicaragua. Oh, excuse me. You so however like long ago excuse me. it was. Yeah. My bad. Where ours, uh, Ecuadorian wrapper, which, I mean, yes. how much does a wrapper really play into the cigar? Uh, a, lot a lot in the mouth flavors. <laughs> One would say yeah. it's a middle of the road wrapper. But most of your flavor is going to be coming from that uh, like, wrapper. Like Lil Wayne? Or, uh, um, filler is a... Uh, I'm sorry, I can't. I, I gotta... <laughs> yeah, I've been telling you to cut it more. <laughs> Young Jamie, number one and two last The time Chad! Oh, no! <laughs> you are here by Dub the Chad. When we talk about it, Nicaragua, Ecuador, what's the, what's the other big one? Dominican? Dominican it's Republic, yeah. Pepsi Challenge. Can you taste the difference between the three? What yes. are they known for? Uh, so, that well, I cannot say myself, but uh, you are definitely going to have a massive different flavors between them. Yes, uh, we got a question. Yeah. No, I've got, I've got a statement. Um, it's a rhetorical question. I'm sorry, your answer must be in the form of a question. Ooh, Chad, Daily Double. What is? Um, so, my understanding of different locations of seed, it's more about the effort that goes into taking your specific strain of tobacco and making it work in your environment and nurturing the soil and giving it that personal touch and really putting your heart and soul into it versus fucking factory farming it. Mm. And Basically, what's been imparted to me is that the different regions, yes, can have different flavors if you get that heart and soul poured into it. But for the most part, it's like saying champagne can only come from France. Yeah. Mm. Technically, well, it can only be called champagne if it's from the Champagne blah, Valley blah, in blah, France. Blah, 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 blah. But you can make the exact same you thing You can, but you cannot call yes. it champagne. You can call it brut. Or you can call it like a prosecco. You can call it many different things, but, but you, you cannot call it champagne. You understand? So don't, don't argue with me. You understand my you point? You can call though. it cooks, and then have nobody show up to your brunch. God, I hate you guys. 
<laughs> you, you understand my point, though. It's it's from many different places. You can make scotch anywhere, but to be called true scotch, it has to be made in Scotland of a single source spring. Blah, or in blah, Japan. Blah, 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 blah. It, no, it's not. Why, it's why are we whiskey. arguing over this bullshit? <laughs> <laughs> so I think the big difference between our cigar here, which, which is a blend of several different valleys and locations in Nicaragua and yours, is that yours is single source and it's aged. Is it? And not only is it aged, once they roll it, they age it for an additional three years after they've rolled the cigar in a humidor or, or controlled environment. Which is pretty impressive. Yeah, I mean, it's nice. Very I nice. Know that. They're staking their soul on it. Note. Are you hotboxing that, Chad? Jeez Louise, I'm looking what at What are Lori's. you talking about? She took off her uh, other ring already. Man, she's masterfully blown that well, smoke like a pro. Well, there's a crack in mine, and if I don't mm. get it past the, the bulge crack in the side, then it won't draw very well. So, so you have to release the crack in yours? <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna it? pull a What's Lewinsky here real quick. Is that... Almost. Is that what it's called? Now, one thing I did notice uh, earlier also that uh, you guys seem to be doing a lot more of is that one did not hold together with its ash as well as this one has been so far. Mine was um, running really bad, so I was trying to even it out. Yeah, with it. I, you have an excuse, you guys. You just keep uh, you keep ashing. I mean, hold on to that ash just for a little bit longer. See how long it takes for it to fall off. Naturally. I wonder if the way I cut it changed the way it draws, because yours I is drawing better. I don't think so. You know, it's interesting when you mention the pepper faded. Yeah, because no, I don't know if my tongue is dying, but I definitely don't taste the pepper as much. Yeah, it's, yeah. I'm tasting more of the leather, Ooh. and it's got yeah. like a weird kind of yeah. spicy finish in the back of your mouth. Mm. Hey, Lori, uh, not weird. Well, say that again. Hey, what you're tasting? I have a woody taste. Mm. Yeah, go ahead. And I, I, I uh, also no, it's, it's, the, it's the cedar. Come on, right? It's the cedar. Is it, well, that, is that your guys? Leather? Yeah, that's. <laughs> I'm not looking at anything. I'm just, I'm just it's the cedar. They told us there'd be uh, cedar. We oh, are I'm trying, trying not to look format. at it. I'm trying to come up with my own. The ideas. problem is, is that we know cigars, <laughs> but we like to refer to the marketing wank occasionally so that we can contrast what we believe right. versus what the marketing believes. And we don't have such a refined palate that we'll pick up on everything, so we yeah, feel yeah, I mean, like it's nice to reference it. It right does help to actually see what you are tasting, because sometimes you just taste a bunch of stuff and you don't know what that is because it's in a different form than what you normally have. Yeah. Oh my. I was told in the marketing wank, the marketing wonks that told me there'd be dried cherry. I've been scarfing this thing for about 20 minutes now. I haven't found one craisin. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess. Dried, uh, dried cherry is kind of like a sour flavor. Is and I, I guess like off the tip here, a little bit of the juice is coming off. It's kind of a sour cherries. flavor. Yeah. Well, dried oh, cherries sour, generally have right. like a sour yeah, yeah, flavor, yeah, yeah. kind of like a sour tart flavor. And I'm getting a little bit of that as time goes on. In Germany, up in my they mind. call it sour quiche. Mmm, it's a sour quiche. Sour quiche. Mm. It's so good. Sour cherry. Sour quiche. Sour quiche. I know that because you can get it at Alaska Sausage Room Seafood. Oh, okay. It's sour quiche. It's Thai. Shout out to them. Yeah. They got good sausages. Yeah, good Thai sample. It's delicious. So what's your mid, uh, Joe, what's your mid stick <laughs> impression there, Chad? So I'm enjoying it a lot more than uh, what the first peppery blast was. Um, you know, it, 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 it's calmed <laughs> down quite He's a bit. really unhappy I with your... I, uh, you know, I, I was sitting there feeling a little, or tasting a little bit more leather. Um, like, there's supposed to be, like, some salted, uh, salty flavors coming in somewhere in there. I'm not tasting that. Also, there's supposed to be coca, but uh, I'm not tasting the coca. You don't like chocolate Coca. anyways. Cacao. Cacao. I, I don't you know. know. You don't it, like it, chocolate. If it was, like, the baker's chocolate, i taste that, definitely, because that is... Bitter. Well, no bitter, yeah. You like white chocolate and peanut butter. I love peanut butter and white chocolate. Ooh, Reese's white chocolate. Peanut Milk cups. chocolate. Not, not I mean, we... But Dakota, go ahead and uh, tell us what you think of your uh, mid stick. So like, it's... this is bigger. Yeah, there, there's is a little bit bigger. Yeah, our cigars are them. bigger. Don't let it hold you back. Oh my Jeff. god, I'm gonna kill you. So fucking. So, um, my cigar has really mellowed out. At first, it was a lot of pepper. It's got like a subtle pepper flavor that stays in your mouth, but I'm really tasting the leather now. I don't know if I'm tasting the cocoa. I am definitely tasting a little bit of cedar and that salty kind of brine a little bit coming off of it, like what you get from the ocean wind a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a really far reach. And if they're saying that's in there, they must have cigar connoisseurs who are far better than I. But I do taste like kind of like a salty tang to it, just a hint. Yeah. Um, as far as construction, 
it does seem to ash every inch, but it does maintain that. It has not gotten an even burn. That might entirely be my fault. Eh, probably, but we also know, have man. that fan that blows on it, so it... Uh... This looks pretty even right now. No. Oh, okay, uh, yeah. you got a little run. What are you getting, Kellen? <laughs> the same, man. It really melted out at about the halfway point, and uh, I've really been enjoying it since then. Um, I felt the buzz at about the same point that the pepper mellowed out. This shit is strong. Yeah, it's a good one. It's a good one. It's good. It's definitely not the it's two no. and a half shots of whiskey in here that got me going. Uh, no, but the, like you said, the construction has been solid. I haven't had any cracks. Uh, even I was worried because I guillotined this, and uh, I was afraid that the wrapper was going to crack on me. Um, but no, just like Gucci Mane, it stayed solid for a wrapper, even in court. <laughs> Because one time a, 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 a judge asked him, how do you plead? Are you guilty of these crimes? And he said, bitch, I might be. Who says that in court? <laughs> Gucci Mane, that's a solid rapper. I might be. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean I am. I might be. Bitch, I might be. All right, so uh, Lori, on the other hand, she has destroyed her cigar. Um, she enjoyed it quite a bit and, and raced ahead. What did you get at mid? What do you get into the finale here? Well, it's basically done, and I can't remember that far back. Yeah, so go ahead and tell us what you think about the end, since we have already well, hit my... Well, because uh, I'm burning my lips when I puff on it now. Yeah, well, you're hotboxing the shit out of it, no, too. No, I'm not. <laughs> there is no proof of that. Are we still... Yes, yeah, not on video. Are we still now in 2020 <laughs> asking Lori for her mid-stick impression? Yes, well, it might be 2021 here soon as she fucking doesn't stop interrupting. All right, Lori, you give them your mid-stick impression. I'm going to go watch the ball drop. 2021! <laughs> Next. Okay, well, All Chad, right. what are you getting? Well, uh, so back, back to my uh, impression again. We, we got the, a lot more mellow, a um, <clears throat> little bit more of that leathery flavor, but it, it's not pronounced like it was at the beginning for the pepper. The pepper was super strong. Oh, you, why? Why? Why would you do that? Don't make me stop this car. <laughs> I'm at least yours is bigger than mine. Oh, my God. I hope Thomas doesn't That's what ever she said. watch this one. That's what they always say. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we got the a uh, little bit more leather, uh, maybe a little bit uh, earthy, but not not too much. It's definitely mellowed out by now. It's mellow, yeah. It's a lot more mellow, and I'm enjoying it now. Actually, it's the peppermint, just not so much. I think it's not my, my lips favorite. are so dry that I'm not enjoying it as much as I should. Mm. Okay. Mm. So mellowed out. Any of the marketing wank actually come through as far as flavors or what? Yeah, a little bit. Getting? Yeah. I, I mean, I'm trying to. I'm not going to go ahead and. The cigar. I'm not going to be uh, uh, getting those salty uh, nuts and chocolate balls. I don't uh, get chocolate the salty balls. flavor, but I definitely get like the earthy and yeah. the leather and the. I'm not going to try retro hailing it or whatever it's called because. Wait, uh, wait, wait! Let's try. Oh man, it makes me cough. So and yeah, the, I, that face right there is why I don't do it as much. Well, that was me concentrating on doing it. Um, Can we rate these on? Well, streaming, streaming, services. streaming services, I think we should do. Yes, yeah, so. This is at YouTube. This is. Here we go. At first. <laughs> Here's where the edit is. I'm going to do this so you see it in the <clears throat> scrubbing. For me. And stick impression, Lord. I don't hardly ever go on YouTube just because it's a giant world of weirdness in there. And at first, it's like, what is this? Cat videos? Oh my god, what is this? Other cat videos? And then you go somewhere else, like, oh, this, this is nice. And then you get interrupted with ads. Wait, are we, were we doing ads now? No, you're the ad. I was trying to talk earlier and you just kept interrupting me. Oh, and now good. it's like, okay, I found like a nice stream of cat or dog videos where people fall on the face. And you know, it's not that bad, but those ads just keep getting to you. Your YouTube history is that of a serial killer. never go on YouTube. <laughs> I like to watch cute animals, then I would like to watch humans getting fucked up. Oh my That's God. That's my I'm search history. It's YouTube. It's a weird <laughs> yeah. plethora of things. But those ads. Good, I can good, tell you from experience, you never, you never crisscross yeah. accidentally from one to the other. Nobody's <laughs> ever gone from a cat video to somebody getting smashed in, in it by a vehicle. I'm going to rate mine. <laughs> You're searching those. You great. <laughs> so I'm going to rate Look. mine on a show on a streaming service. Okay. I'm going to rate mine on Netflix, but specifically The Witcher. Mm. Don't tell me anything because I haven't seen it and I'm supposed to watch it. Don't tell me anything. I will kill you. So might quickly. help if you read the books. I did not. Might help if you read the books. Isn't there a video game? It's a game. Isn't There's it a video game? Ga the books spawn the game, which oh. spawn the TV show. Okay. So, um, you getting a little of, uh, fucking particulates no, in your mouth No, I'm just letting you know how it feels to be interrupted by ads. 
<laughs> I was trying to keep you on track, Lori. <laughs> okay, so I would rate this like a Netflix specifically for The Witcher. The reason why is like the first <clears throat> episode is kind of awkward, and it doesn't it doesn't necessarily make sense. Hold on, but it, it's not spoilers. No spoilers. Hey. <clears throat> No spoilers. Don't worry about it. The, the first episode doesn't make sense, necessarily, unless you're into the lore and all that. Um, but a as you watch it, it comes together. This cigar started out kind of harsh, and I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to like this. But it got really smooth. It gave me such a nicotine rush that uh, I don't fucking care. I know. But it's not like some of those Rocky Patel cigars that are just fucking like, let's burn everything in your mouth and your entire fucking oral tract. It smoothed out. It got really, really smooth. I do taste a lot of the hints. I don't taste the cocoa. That's probably because I eat too much spicy food. But like, it, it's a solid thing? cigar. The only problem I have with it is that even though I burn things unevenly, even though I burn things unevenly, um, like with other cigars, I can have them ash all the way to the end, and I've done it before. This one I can't. The construction's pretty solid, but there's just something about it. You're not going to be able to do that. Don't even try. It it just it falls it just apart. Won't on happen. You. It just yeah. falls apart. I mean, it's not well, not the wrapper, but the uh, the ash falls apart. The on ash you. falls off like every inch or so. That was me forcibly doing, but it was it was falling on the fucking table. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I got mine over here now too. But do you um, expect a longer ash typically? Yeah, yeah no, yeah. I expect a much it's longer. It's broken ash. on you well quicker than cigars. Yeah. The ash should we'll stay hold longer. Hold hold. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, it should stay quite a bit longer. Lori's got a very good point there, <clears throat> and I, it makes me wonder on the build quality of this, and maybe the blend. There may be different sized leaves or different textures or something. I don't know. The flavor's there, though, and I will definitely grab another one of these in the future, given the opportunity. Yeah. Oh, question. Yes, Lori. So, compared to the Oliva Series V to the O, the V is obviously a more expensive cigar, so it's a better rolled cigar, and it mm. holds an ash better. I mean, do you notice that difference since you've had one of those? Yeah, the Oliva V does hold the ash better, but man, this... This fucking knocks it as far as flavor. I, I would say this is definitely a better value. Price wise, is there like a 40% difference uh, between or 20% difference? I'd say at least a four, uh, about 35 to 40. Yeah. I mean, so we, can, we can use Alaskan prices if we really want to, <laughs> but no, no, like. No, no, prices, because yeah. I mean, they're, they're the same regardless, the percentage wise. Be, yeah. Yeah, 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 I yeah. mean, it, it's, a, it's a, a substantial amount more than uh, uh, Melania to the uh, O. Um, but I, I, I'd pay that extra price. I mean, uh, from I, what I've had of that one, I'd pay that extra price to get the Milano. On the Siri V, I was bored. This one definitely has a more uh, it, it, it's a lot distinct more distinct profile, a I lot think. more flavor. But I don't necessarily want as much as that thing was giving me. Mm, mm. I smoked yours a little bit to keep it going, so we could see that ash, and it kept yeah. dropping off. But man, like, I don't know what it was. Maybe it was the way you cut it, or maybe it was just mouth germs all over it or something. But like, I, I didn't enjoy it. But maybe, maybe bourbon is mm. swaying my opinion here just a little bit. And the fact that I was willing to smoke it to this point, at first, it's just not good. But like, once you get past the first, it's really good. And, and that's why I used the, the Netflix Example with, with the Witchers. Eh, the first is kind of like rough and rocky. You don't know what the fuck's yeah, going it's a on. Spoiler. It's, it's not, not a spoiler. spoiler. I don't want to. He's the trying first to help you to get through that first episode. No, because I have to watch the first one. All right. Yeah. Like, oh my god. We'll, it was we'll skip you and go straight. Oh, oh Lori already did. Right. Yeah. First. So, uh, Kellen, what's your uh, fucking Nick? <laughs> what's your rating? Uh, since you did it on a on a series, I would say this is the opposite of Stranger Things, where the beginning kind of sucks, the and then out, the longer you go on, it's better and better. Whereas with Stranger Things, it was amazing at first, and it just sucked the further you went along. Uh, originally, I was going to say this is my Amazon Prime uh, streaming service because I'm not paying for it. And uh, when I got on, I was like, Amazon Prime's kind of weak. No, 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 I got a buddy who pays for everything. Oh. So I was like, oh, this is weak. There's nothing here. And then you I went into Sugar his, Daddy? Yeah, yeah, I went into his library, and he's paid for so many great movies where I was like, well, I'm just happy to be here. You know? Yeah. 
because I never would have thought to pick up one of these on my own, mm -hmm. but my boss paid for it. So here I am smoking it, and I'm just happy to be here. A cheers. <laughs> A cheers. Cheers. A cheers. Cheers. No, also, I really like the cigar on its own merits. Uh, the flair, as soon as I got through that wild pepper in the beginning, <laughs> I liked it. I liked it a lot. Um, we need to get you some Rocky Patels. Holy no. shit, you'll know what pepper is. Yeah. No, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay. Based on the way you described it, it sounds awful. So I'm going to go ahead and rate this on a, a Hulu. <clears throat> Um, at first, you know, I really didn't know what uh, I was doing with Hulu because... There's no Hulu and chill? There's no Hulu and chill. It's more like Hulu and snort. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sitting there, you know, just trying to get through it at first, trying to figure out what's going on with it. And then... Uh, Hulu then the, yeah. is... A, sorry. Hulu's more like... Uh, An ad that won't stop interrupting. Hey, do you like TV, but you're never around when your favorite show's on? Yeah. Yeah. So as soon as I figured it out, though, you know, I, I started enjoying it. You know, it got to uh, found some shows I really liked and whatnot, and uh, it, it started getting better and better, um, especially with some of the uh, stuff that uh, goes on with Hulu, like the uh, show that they're unfortunately discontinuing, uh, Future Man. Mm. Is that oh, really? You rate this? Fantastic oh, man. fucking show. Bummer. Um, but uh, then it, it's going to end, so. Unfortunately, next season is they're done with it. One thing I will point out about the Oliva, and you're having it too, is that I pay money for a fucking cigar. You I'm going to smoke it all the way to the fucking nub. And the problem is here, you you, you're I don't know if apart. you can see it on camera, it's already unraveling. Uh, use and your nails because it gets hot at the end. The the problem is it's unraveling and like if I had one I would have a fucking roach spike, mm. get that thing, get my twenty bucks worth or we can get those for you if you'd like. I yeah, mean. but like it's unraveling, which means it's going to be a hot mess by the time I get to that point. Yes, yeah. and I appreciate at the price point it makes sense, but like I would I would really like to get to the end. Mm-hmm. Understand. And on that low note, well, are we uh, last impressions of these these guys? I recommend it. I give it the thumbs up. Thumbs up? Uh, to give no. my impression of Robert Ebert, late stage Robert Ebert. I get it. Oh, I you get, get it. it. I get it. That was his impression. His, the last like five years of his life. I don't know what that is. Roger Ebert had to get his jaw removed, so he had this expression. Did he have something replaced? No. They no. just took it off. Oh. <laughs> So you could have changed it a little bit? God, he wore scarves a lot. Oh, okay. okay. Um, was, that, was that too far? Should we cut yeah, that? Yeah, you are... Uh, <laughs> got a lot of Roger Ebert fans out there? I do. I'm a fan. Jesus, more you're such a, a dick. More of a Cisco guy myself. All right, so uh, with Lori's though, I mean... Uh, he died before he become, became a villain. Yeah, no, Roper was no Cisco. I'll tell you that. Oh, my God. I love this man. But before before <laughs> Lori's goes completely out, I mean, you got to look at this dedication. She is... <laughs> Fucking Are you about going to, to eat burn that? her? I thought about lips. it if it gets you guys to stop talking so I can put this Thank out. You. All right, uh, last impression for me. I am I'm still enjoying it. I, I like it. The uh, flavors haven't changed since mid, but uh, I mean I'm okay with it. it it's good. It's All a right. good cigar. Do you have a roach clip? Because this is hot. Yeah, stop smoking it. You can put it out at any point. I no. mean, you have proven your worth with that cigar. There's a scene that's still smoke. Was it? Up in smoke. Up in smoke. Where Tommy Chong's like cherry, cherry, cherry. <laughs> Sucks it in. Yeah, you're about to, you're about to chong it. You're about to chong it right there. On that note, we're done. All right, just put them in the ashtray. Oh my God, that's a lot. Of that's, a that's a wrap. That's a wrap. That's a really wrap. Up there, guys. It was fun to watch. Oh, fuck, Bryce. <laughs> that was that was a nightmare to try to keep these guys on track. <laughs> How you go, buddy? You, Chad. Hey, you, Mr. Bogado. <laughs> I love you, Lori. But. Like, Ooh. holy fuck you. <laughs> fuck you.